Chase. No, oh, Chase has locked us out now. So wait, are you being serious? We're really locked outside? Yes. So how are we going to get in? Chase, can you please open the door? No! This is crazy. <laughs> I'm laughing. I can't believe I'm actually stuck outside your home. Chase had locked us out and we couldn't do anything. And there was Mum at the window begging Chase to open up the door. I mean, just ridiculous. Chase! If you're a good boy, Mummy will give you candy. Mum needed to get back into the house, so she started to bribe Chase. Eventually, it worked. OK, thank you. And he's decided to let us in. Mommy, what? That wasn't Ooh. very nice of you. <laughs> Left poor Joe outside. Chase's behaviour is absolutely ridiculous. After he lets us back in, it got worse. Don't pinch at me. <laughs> Is that the kind of behaviour you get from Chase? From Chase pinching? Yes. Corey will also pinch me well, once in a while if he gets angry at me. <laughs> but I won't let him do something. But, um... No! No! Get out! Get No, that's no! not nice to do to Mommy. Get Come on. Mommy wants you to stop. <laughs> I want you to calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Sometimes I have to just walk away from him until he calms down. So every time I go towards him, he starts acting out more. But you still have to go get dressed in your other clothes. Can you come upstairs and get dressed? Corey? Because you're not going to be able to play with Adam or anybody later. While your, while your brother comes down now that he's breaking the door now. Well, it's not very nice to break the door. Oh, he did break it. Chase was so angry that he was now becoming destructive. I couldn't believe what he was doing. Get out! Okay, I'm gonna sit here by yourself then again. Ooh. Did he just slam that door in your face? Yes, he did. Mum said nothing. Oh dear. What I recognise in this family is that the children gain so much control that it's almost like the parents are scared to actually deal with the consequences of that behaviour. It's worse when his brother is home because when we're when together. But if I have him on my own, then I can handle him. But then if I'm going back and forth between the two of them, it's very, very difficult. It's just, I feel like a failure. I think it's sad that Mum puts up with it. And emotionally, she's broke. Yeah. Hello. Hey, hon. How are you? Good. Hi, Chris. Good. Hello, hello. <laughs> it's been a crazy day. It's been very crazy. When Chris came home from work, Mum was there ready to let off steam and tell Chris how naughty the children had behaved. He broke the door in the laundry room. What? He broke the door in the laundry room to try to peek out. Is it? What do you mean? It's, let's go see it. It's, it's broken. broken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> broke the door? How did he break the door? What did you do to him? Nothing. I didn't do anything. I let him cry in there until so he calmed down because he was kicking me and everything. Mm -hmm. You put him in the room? No, I put him up in his room at one point so, I mean, did you to lock try him to calm him down. You no. Just him, you just let him cry. Okay. You broke that door, right? Not there. On the bottom. Yeah, yes, I know that. On the bottom, you broke the door, right? Show me where you broke. Go ahead. Point to it. In this household, it's very apparent that Chris has to deal with all the discipline when he comes home. I didn't broke. You broke the door, right? I didn't. Why did you break the door? I didn't break it. Did you ask why he broke the door? I know why he broke it, out of the tantrum. Polly, I know he broke the door, and you know he broke the door. You know why he did it. I want him to... Uh, well, he's three. He's not well, three. So what's yeah. that have nothing to do with it? It's ridiculous. I'll tell you what's ridiculous. Mum and Dad arguing like a pair of teenagers in front of their children. I'm starting a conversation with you. I'm trying to talk to you. That's fine. I'm, I don't... He can't. See, he cannot come home. He can, he can never to talk you, to me. You're talking because to it's me. Hard. No, talk you can't me. communicate. Talk you just don't. You're in your own world. There is so much tension between Mum and Dad. And those kids are hearing every word. And they're like two bombs ticking, ticking, ticking. And I don't even know when it's going to explode. Mm. The communication zone technique is what I introduced for Chris and Colleen to start them talking again. So I gave them each a box to write down their thoughts and suggested they go to their room where they could talk away from the kids. Because it's desperately needed for mum and dad, they both need to really say what they mean to one another. Chris was supposed to exchange boxes. One for you, one for me. Anyway. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll go first. Okay. It says, I think we should discuss the techniques. When I discipline the children, they always say, I don't think you did this right, or I don't think you did that right. So instead of you coming to me and saying, Chris, you, t you, uh, you did it wrong in front of the kids or something like that. What I'm asking you is to do is talk to me later about it because I just don't want to talk in front of the children. That's right. All. Okay. My turn. I think you use the cool down section too often. I think you have to only use the cool down section right. when it's really, really needed. Because if you use it like 10 times in a row, then it's not going to be effective when we really need to use it. And he's not going to carry him if he's sitting there anymore. I don't agree with that. I think if a child doesn't listen to you now, what makes you think he's going to listen to you when he gets older? We need to communicate. I mean, that's something that we've been missing. And I think this is what's going to make us happier. I think we work on it together. Once we work together, as a team, and we improve our communication with one another. Good job, honey. There's going to be a huge change in our children's behavior.